Hi, Bill from CJ Pony Parts. The stock shifters found in Mustangs were never really designed with performance in mind. Usually they were built to be quiet, which oftentimes meant rubber bushings and really sloppy shifts. If you're going to drive your Mustang hard, one of the first modifications you're going to want to make is a good quality aftermarket shifter. Since we want the six speed in our supercharged Mustang to hold up, today we're going to upgrade to the Ford Racing Shifter and the matching bracket. Ford Racing Shifter is made in the USA and is going to fit your 2011 and up Mustang GT with the MT82 six speed transmission. It includes the bracket, the shifter assembly, as well as the white Ford Racing ball. It's going to install using mostly stock hardware. For this installation, you'll need a lift or a jack in jack stands, a T30 Torx bit, 3 8 ratchet, 10 millimeter shallow socket, 10 millimeter deep socket, 12 inch extension, 6 inch extension, half inch ratcheting wrench, and safety glasses. We're going to start by accessing the shifter from the top. First step is remove your factory shift ball, so we turn it counterclockwise. Now we'll slide the boot up over the edge of the shift handle. Now we're going to move the top piece. I'm going to open the rear console door first. You open the cup holder just a little bit, you can get your fingers underneath this gray trim piece and just lift straight up. Start with that, you can remove the whole thing. I'm going to disconnect the plug for your hazards and your trunk release, and then you just lay the console piece on the passenger seat. Now we're going to pull back the liner around the shifter. The front is just going to clip into place here. The back piece, there is one screw you'll have to remove to make it easier to get it out. Now we're going to remove the factory boot. So we start in the front, pull the edge up, and slide it off. Once you remove the lower shifter boot, you've got to see all the shifter bolts themselves. At this time, we've got to put the car up in the air and take off the bracket underneath. We're going to remove the factory shifter bracket. you be on the back edge right above your drive shaft. Move the other side. Once you remove both nuts, you're going to pull down on the bracket and slide it off the back of the stock shift. Now we're going to remove the four bolts that hold the shifter in. There's two in the back and then two more in the front. The so bolts are moved. Let's carefully lift our shifter straight up, tilt it at an angle, and take it out of the car. Before we put away the original shifter, this plastic cup has to be removed and used on the new Ford Racing shifter. We're going to lower our new shifter into place. Sure the cup goes in properly and it goes around your lockout. We're going to reinstall our original bolts. Get them all just hand tight before you put a ratchet to them. You don't want to over tighten these, so just get them to their snug. The bracket's going to install in two pieces. You want to remove these two bolts first to get the cap off. We're going to install just this, but before we do so, we're going to install some of the supplied thread locker. Now we're going to install the top part of the bracket on the factory studs. We're going to make sure the Ford Racing logo is facing towards the back of the car. Okay, now we're going to reinstall the original nut and washer that we removed. You're going to want to lift the shifter assembly if it's flush up in the bracket and slide the bracket back till it's sitting right on the back edge. Now we're going to install our bottom bracket. Once you have everything hand tight, you want to grab the lower bracket and slide it back 
to feel it stop against the back of the shifter. Now we can tighten up the nuts that hold the upper bracket to the factory studs. Now we're going to tighten the two bolts to our lower bracket. A small ratcheting wrench will make it a little bit easier to get up in there. Now we're ready to reinstall our lower shift boot. This could be a little time consuming because you want to make sure you get it right. This bottom ring here, there's actually a machined ring in the shifter that this has to sit into. If it doesn't fit tight, you can have some issues with the shifter. We're going to push our sound deadening back over the front here. We'll reinstall the screw that we removed. Then we'll put our top of our console back on. Make sure you don't forget to plug this back in. The Ford Racing Shifter includes this white six-speed ball and this retainer designed to use with your stock shift boot. We've swapped out our GT for the GT500 boot, so we're going to put our Boss 302 knob back on. Thread pattern is exactly the same. And our installation is complete. Shifts great. Nice short throws, real tight and accurate. It's got a real solid feel to it. And it goes in the gear now, you can feel it's in gear. It's got a nice solid stop to it with a factor one and a real kind of vague feel. Now, this is the shifter forge for putting these cars in the factory. Gives you a nice solid feel with the transmission like this and the car with the performance these things have. That's what you're looking for. Our test drive went great. The 40% shorter throws combined with the solid feel of the shifter makes the car a lot more fun to drive. Installation should take you no more than two hours, so you'll be back on the road in no time.